<laughs> Good. Can you open the glasses again? Hmm? Uh, I think I just take it up. So to go down yeah. with the glasses. These are for transcranial de oh shit. These are for transcranial de <laughs> There we go. These are these are electrodes. So there's a cathode here and here, and then there's the 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 cathode, the an, um the, the anode is here, the cathode is here. So this uh stays in contact and the servos hold it down while it's in in um, in this mode and I don't have to worry about forgetting it because if I leave this on for more than 20 minutes it drains all the systems and then I can't use it for then the whole system breaks down so I'm very aware of the 15 or 20 minutes that I jolt myself with this stuff when I start using it. Is it, is it electricity waste or for the brain? Yes, what it does is that it sends a positive current into either here to here or here to here and um, the current is you, basically your head completes the circuit and it um, polarizes, depolarizes the, the uh, neurons in that mm -hmm. area and makes them more open, um, what is it called, plasticity, um, easier to learn things, uh, more working memory, things like that. So. I wanted to integrate it because I have a lot of stuff I have to learn with this system and this way I feel like I can 
really go into some interesting areas, mm -hmm. you know, having this integrated into what I play with. No, it's interesting. What what is controlling what the the thing your brain or your brain the thing? One no, no. This actually just this has this isn't controlling my brain. This is just giving me a, a two. Um, well, actually, only about point seven. Uh, milliamps of uh, voltage. voltage. That's a very, very, very extremely low. Uh, probably not even really going to do that much. But I have used one milliamp in the past, and it worked really well. You know, so with this, <laughs> I can have a bit more professional equipment to use. And then when this is that goes there. there. Make sure they're not hot. Are you, are you gonna make the light which is warning you how much voltage comes and if it's too much it will break? Well I, I mean I have to learn how to do that first. I don't even actually, I don't actually know how to do that yet. I mean I'm, I'm learning and so because um, I don't have a voltage meter on here already I would love to have a voltage meter uh, uh, so that I can see when the battery is going dead. So if I can incorporate that, that would be even better. But there's no power yet coming. There's just the glasses. Thing. Right now, like for instance, right now the servo motors are are pushed really are pushed against my head. So while I'm playing, these are holding the electrodes in place so that I can so that uh, so that they do their job, and then eventually I'll have a transistor to turn it off. But right now I turn it off by hand. And when I do turn it off, they stay exactly where I left them. Where the where they were when they were on. Nice. That's great. And yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> it all looks like it works. So you change the boxes, you change the Oh no, it's still the flexible band. Mm -hmm. Which is brand new for the controller. Yeah. For the whole headset. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna have a beer. Now. Yeah, let's try.